It's the ultimate punishment for the most heinous and brutal crimes. In the state of Arkansas, a total of 504 prisoners have been put to death since 1820, many waiting years, even decades, before their execution. There are steps that the government has to take in order to ensure they are only executing the worst of the worst and they are not executing innocent people. Leaving no room for error, Dr. Robert Lytle at UA Little Rock studies capital punishment and says many factors come into play from the time a person is convicted to the actual day of execution. Oftentimes, he says, states have difficulty acquiring the lethal injection drugs. A lot of those pharmaceutical companies are not really in favor of um, have of selling their drugs for the purposes of execution. Nationwide drug shortages and challenges to lethal injection procedures have halted executions in Arkansas for 12 years. Don Davis, one of the seven death row inmates, has come close to execution multiple times after being sentenced to death in 1992. During his time, there was an issue with the drug cocktail used to execute him. Then in 2014, the sedative midazolam was implicated after executions in Arizona, Ohio, Ohio and Oklahoma went longer than expected. Criminal defense attorney Dagan Clow says these delays are nothing new. The most significant reason, however, is mostly attributed to appeals. Here's why. The process includes nine steps, the first being the direct appeal given to everyone sentenced to death. That prisoner is going to appeal to the Supreme Court of Arkansas for any type of relief that may have happened from a factual basis in the trial. From there, post-conviction proceedings can take place with the second stage of the appellate process. That's when defendants can raise issues of juror misconduct, newly discovered evidence, or ineffective assistance of counsel. One appeal may only have two or three issues, and one appeal may have 10 or 12 issues. So the amount more issues that have to be looked at, the longer time it's going to take for that appeal to be pushed through the system. Kenneth Williams, another longtime death row inmate, fighting to stop his execution since 2000. He has since made numerous appeals, uh, including the ineffective assistance of counsel appeals uh, and writ of habeas corpus, all of which have been exhausted at this point in time. The U.S. Supreme Court is the last resort in the appeals process, where the only relief available is executive clemency. According to the Bureau of Justice and Death Penalty Information Center, the average time from sentencing to execution for inmates was just under 16 years. Now, if no appeals are raised, it could happen as quickly as six months, but that rarely happens, leaving grieving families in agony during the entire process. It puts them through a lot, but we also have the situation where we have to look out for these individuals' rights because we do have people, and we have had people exonerated off of death, death row that have been found to be innocent of that crime years later. A study in 2014 released in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that one in 25 inmates sentenced to death in the U.S. is innocent. So while many question the lengthy process, experts like Dr. Lytle don't expect to see changes anytime soon. It's very difficult to get away from, from having those delays because they're in place usually for a reason. Um, at least according to the Supreme Court.